guys, I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about what art journals are or what altered books are. Um, this is going to be something we're going to use to focus on for the remainder of this quarter. It's going to be a way that you can find a healthy way to process what's going on in your world. It's, it's a good resource for managing stress. It's a good place to reflect. And it's also a good place to just get your mind off of things if you want to go a totally different direction. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how artists use their sketchbooks to journal and use them almost like diary entries, but visual entries. So I'm going to share a little bit of some things that I've done in the past. I've never been good about being consistent in a sketchbook. Um, if you look through my sketchbook, there's more writing and to-do lists often than there actually is um, like drawings, which is fine. Like That's part of the process and that's part of internalizing things. Um, so for me, and I'm going to show you, this one's an old one. Um, so like I might have started out with some writing. I might have just sketched something that's in front of me. This isn't a super realistic sketch. Um, I'm going to put in things like um, maybe like fun little imaginary things where I'm thinking, oh, what could this be if I did a project with my students where they had to design monsters? Um, I've done some things that are more like moments in time. So this example was a fun one when I went bowling with um, some family and two of the people in the very last frame both got turkeys. And it was just this very surreal moment and we were all just like sitting there going, is this really happening? It, there's no way the first person's gonna get three strikes in a row and then the second person did it right back to back. It was just this really fun moment. So I tried to capture it, how it felt in that moment. And I remember like, I look at this drawing and I remember very clearly the emotion and the excitement we had as we're sitting there going, no way, this cannot be real. Um, other times it might be something where I'm just drawing from real life. I crumple up a piece of paper and see what does that piece of paper look like. Um, sometimes I'm doing things more realistically. Sometimes I'm doing things that are a little bit more cartoony. In this example, I was feeling really torn. It was like when I was first becoming a teacher and I was just feeling like I was really struggling with how to manage my personal life, how to manage my work life. And so I just felt like I was being pulled in multiple directions. So this was me kind of processing and internalizing those emotions that I was feeling and finding a healthy way to get that information out. And, and it was really just for me. Um, but sometimes there are those little silly goofy things. They don't have to be serious. So this is like, what if Kirby was superhero? What would he look like? So it can be a different way for everybody. Um, I have another sketchbook that I did in college and you literally see things are like tucked inside and sticking out of it. They don't, they're not always neat. They're Sometimes they're messy and there's things going on in them. Sometimes there's math of like measurements. Sometimes I just put in here, um, like if I'm going to frame something and hang it up in my hallway, what are the measurements for that? Like, how am I going to space it out so that I know it's in the right place? So sketchbooks and journals are really meant to be for you. And sometimes they can be used to get out your emotions. This was um, actually one of the back page of that journal I just held up. There was a day I was really angry. I don't even remember now why I was so angry, but I was just mad and I wanted to get that anger out. So I just took a ink pen and I just started randomly scratching aggressively on this piece of paper. And then as I kind of calmed down, I challenged myself and I said, okay, well, what can I turn this into? So I took those random scratches and I tried to turn it into like this weird treehouse for cats. And so I think that that was something that I kind of like, it was a fun challenge. And afterwards I was like, oh, I kind of like what I made. So sometimes we use journals as a place to reflect and get our emotions out. Um, there are also things called that um, alter books. They don't have to be in an actual sketchbook. It's when you take a book like this and you would maybe go right over top of the pages, draw over top of them. You might collage over top of them and you would do actual like little drawings and artist statements or you might do um, written journal entries in there. And I'm going to show you a few examples of both of these. So a lot of times, and I have some Pinterest images up to show you, a lot of times you can see how um, these altered books, like you have the text and some of the images behind them, and that's where those kind of are fun and come to play. There's a lot of places that you can just go online and just Google art journals or altered books and get really cool inspiration. Not always are you going to find things that are applicable. Some things are going to be a little too difficult, and some things are going to be a little bit um little bit above your ability level or time allotment and you don't want to get that sucked into things so you want to find some things that are appropriate to you but this is just a quick idea of what art journals are and what they can be for you